Oh, what's up, everybody? So, some of you may recognize this. This is a uh, um, thingamabob for a thingamabob that I got back in California. So, I'm in Nevada now, don't forget. So, some of you probably like, I don't know, wondering what's been going on and what I've been doing. And part of what I've been doing is building this space so this is not complete yet this is what i've been building um let's see if it'll focus there it goes i have no idea if my face was focused i got my cap stuff here this is all my my stuff this is sort of permanent now um and i have to organize the rest of this stuff and I made all of these right here. I even put drawers in here and I built everything, including uh, including this bench, which isn't quite complete yet. This is gonna be the electronic side. Uh, anyway, I built all this stuff uh, out of scrap MDF that I got. Got my piece of whiteboard. Um, I put all of my other good stuff up here on this shelf. I was hoping to get more things on more shelves, but I'm not sure if I can. And this is like the machine shop, drill press side, my mill. I don't know if anybody ever saw this mill, but this is the mill that I was blessed with by Robert K. Hansen and his family. I did purchase it, but, um, but it was a blessing in disguise. I talked about that in my Easter video. Anyway, finally got a toolbox, and I'm putting all my tools in there. That's a blessing. But yeah, uh, the reason I'm making this video is because it's Saturday and I went to the NAB show, the National Association of Broadcasters, I think. So I had a free pass to go to this exhibit and I went there and um, Google was there and they had some pretty cool stuff. They had what I'm going to show you in this video is the LiDAR at Google and they, the it's a test thing, right? So they 3D printed a bunch of stuff. I thought it was pretty cool. So I filmed that. Um, I got to ride the, uh, I don't know if it's a world's first, whatever, but it is a um, an, an autonomous electric um, vehicle that you can get on. It's like a bus type situation, and they have these, um, and they're testing them on the road here, from my understanding. I think the company Navis makes them, and I got to get in one and ride it around, uh, and the guy was actually using an Xbox controller to run it, so that was pretty interesting. Um, and then I just uh, glanced around. I didn't film a whole bunch there. Um, I filmed a few things. There was this robotic arm thing um, <laughs> that had a camera on it. Uh, the reason I went to this is because some friends came into town and they invited me because he's a director. And uh, we got to look at some editing software and some post-production stuff. And I've actually been trying some different software. I've been trying uh, Avis, I think is the company's name. Um, and it's Media Composer. So I've been playing with it instead of Adobe. Because Adobe has got some problems, but it does work still. So anyway, I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to go edit right now a few pieces. I filmed all that with my uh, phone, and so it's probably not very good. But yeah, I just wanted to bring you along for the ride, and I'll leave you with that. Peace and love, God bless, more to come. But I have been taking care of this space, and it's been taking me a long time to put this together, because I'm just doing it in my spare time. But yeah... Um, this will be the new, the new, uh, permanent lab. So I'll let you guys go with that. God bless you. Have a good day. Uh, I found that in the trash and I found that in the trash and I put new wheels on it. Thumbs up. Here's some more testing I'm going to be doing. More things I've learned. All right. God bless you guys. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, enjoy this video. Bye-bye. Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm at this show. Here is the uh, the show name. So it's the NAB and it's uh, designed for audio, video and stuff like that and I, I made it to the Google booth so I thought I would just uh, show you some of the crazy equipment they got going on here. They got the uh, 
pretty interesting rig here. The 360 rig. And this guy. We got a bunch of uh, other stuff here. And yeah, just thought I'd uh, show you what I saw. There is, um, let's just say a few booths here. And it's actually completely insanity. So I'm at the top of the south hall. There are like three halls. And you can see it goes basically to the very end. So yeah, I'm gonna do a lot of walking today. Don't worry, I got my socks and sandals on. And they have carpet on this whole thing. It's pretty incredible because all these exhibits have to be completely set up. And it's just insanity. I wonder, they gotta be in here for a week or two setting this stuff up. It's so crazy. So anyway. All right guys, so the cool thing about this is this rig is actually built with 3D printed parts, so check it out. So even though Google has everything they need, prototyping still wins for 3D printing. Pretty interesting. So they're capturing a 360 view. That's awesome. 3D printing for the win, boys. Alright guys, so they've got this flyby camera. And what's interesting about it is the power is actually going through the cables. So they've got winches on this side, servo motor and a winch tied up to a pulley over to the camera rig and there's one in each corner. And the interesting thing is even though this cable is quite small, there's actually power going through these wires, these two over here. And then on the other side, there's actually a fiber line, a fiber optic line in both of those. So they're using data, sending data via fiber optic, and they have a fiber optic slip ring inside of here, which is something I've never seen. Here's your fiber lines coming out. So there's a fiber optic slip line on this side, and then on the other side there's two power. So I thought you could actually build a giant 3D printer like this. And the only thing you'd have to come down with is the filament. Everything else, all the power and communications could be inside of the head. They couldn't tell me the exact precision, but I'm sure you could build a smaller uh, precision, precision machine. Here's your power coming in on this one. Anyway, thinking outside the box here, you could turn this into a pretty interesting, pretty interesting 3D printer. So yeah, just an idea for you guys. Put the cables, power, and fiber optic inside the cable lines on your uh, 3D hang printers. Peace out. Check it out. That's cool. That is really interesting. These are those panels. It looks funny from the side. LED panels. But I've never seen a setup quite like that. That's pretty cool. I like that. There it is. The autonomous transportation vehicle. I think it's the first ever that's legally on the road so we're gonna go check it out Good. I want to see Good afternoon. Oh, you're back, huh? what's going on let's go find out <laughs> TV playing, air conditioner, 
Yeah, We're gonna ride. Take a look around. We got AC, right. Xbox controller. Who actually, who actually built the vehicle? Navi. NAVYA. Navi is the manufacturer of the shuttle. Deolus. We operate the system. Yeah. Oh, we got our, our driver back, which is not a driver. Sorry, we closed the door for a little bit. It's getting a little hot in here. <laughs> I think they did. Yeah, there you go. Oh, seats fold out. Once I said don't, they'll bring it up again. Yeah, I know. He liked the dog before he left. He wouldn't. He didn't trust us. Uh, life is a game, they always say. That's why we have a Xbox controller. <laughs> That's how they actually drive it. Up down, left right, up down, left right. Are you the cutie? Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry. Uh, well, there you go. There is the next gen autonomous vehicle. I rode it. And you're gonna, are you going AC's on top. It's nice and cool in there. Working well. Body into this thing. Bye bye. Three, two, one, go. Nailed it. Line 36 is your code, yeah? Okay, perfect. Oh my god.